in the gospel text of today, which is taken from the gospel of Matthew chapter 21, verses 28 to 32, Jesus puts before us two sons, but really he puts before us two attitudes or two responses to God. The first son is told by the father to go and work in the field, to go and look after the field. And the son says, I will not go. He refuses to obey the father. But later he relents and realizes that the father is saying something which is for his good and the good of the family. And so he relents and goes. A man who refused to obey but later does obey. The second son is told the same words by the father to go and look after the field and the second says, surely I will go. But he does not go. And so Jesus asked the question, which of these sons or which of these attitudes must we adopt? And all of them who hear him say the first son. That means even though we reject the father's words and we say no. Later on we relent and realize that we must do it because it is good for us and good for others. Jesus asked them then to apply the lesson to themselves. Someone might say to me, is not a better attitude that we say we will go and we also go? Yes, that is the ideal. And we notice Jesus does not even expect that the ideal, he expects that even if occasionally we say that we will not go, that our words do not communicate that we are willing to follow the Lord's will, later on we must realize that the Lord's will for us is infinitely better than what we want for ourselves. And that is why our faith is not merely a faith which will say to the Lord, Surely, Lord, I am willing to do your will and do nothing about it. Our faith, even if it is an imperfect faith which says, Lord, I do not want to do your will, and later on, on reflection, on meditation in my prayer, realize, yes, the Lord's will is better than my will, and I do it, that is enough. Are you one of those who says yes, yes, but never does? Will you attempt to be one who even though you may say no, will later do? Will you convert your words into your action?